Everyone, this is Gwydion. I'm going to try to show you relatively quickly, if I can, um, how I get my player cards at the bottom here in my overlay when I press push to talk to light up. And obviously the intention is each player's would be different, but their cards would light up and it looks a little bit different. Uh, it's a little bit darker when they're not talking and then it lights up when they're talking. So try to show you how to do that, hopefully relatively easily and quickly. So I'm going to go to a standard uh, screen here. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you go to the Discord stream kit overlay. Most of you are familiar with this. So make sure you click over to the voice widget, um, pick your server, make sure you pick the voice channel you're going to be in during your game. Um, you don't, I, I wouldn't click any of these. I would just leave this as it is, honestly. And then just literally you're going to copy this right here okay that's going to be the first thing you do so then what you're going to do is you're going to figure out what images that you want to display so for me i'm i'm doing this on my private discord channel uh, i just kind of have a private um text channel where is it uh it's somewhere up here here it is uh and i'm just copying and pasting images in so what what i did is i did this in GIMP. So I kind of took a free Pathfinder 2 um, overlay that they actually released for free and I just kind of tweaked it. So you're going to have to find your own images, but I, I made one for a character with their stats for the Shadow of the Demon Lord. And then I did the exact same image, but I just put the name on it so that when this one will be darker and this one will be lighter, but you just have to have those two images. Then what you need, and I'll paste this code but this is the code that you're going to need for the, um, the URL that we're going to put into OBS. So how do we do that? So let's go back for a second to OBS and I'm going to turn on for a second. I just clipped the bottom. So you're going to see now OBS. So this is the bottom of my OBS screen. I don't want the infinity screen. So I just clipped the bottom. So we're going to go to hit the plus sign and you probably won't see all of this, but you're gonna to go to browser. You may not see it um, because I snipped the screen. But go to the browser source and then I'll pull that over. So we can call this um, test image and say, okay. All right, so again, you're not gonna see it on my OBS. So I'm gonna pull it over here. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back to your stream kit overlay. You're gonna copy this just like you normally would. You're gonna click into here and paste it and then hit okay. And then once you do that, you're gonna open that same browser source in uh, OBS, okay? So I'm dragging it so you can see it. So you can kind of see that that shows up here. But then what you do is you have to scroll down with this bar and you're gonna delete this custom CSS, delete it, and you're gonna go back and I'll give this to you. But then what you're gonna do is you need to use this code, but let me show you what you're gonna have to replace. So this React ID right here, that needs to be specific to the player source. So whatever player that you want. So how do you get that? When you open up Discord, if you go down to the user settings here, you see that? Well, I'm at the very bottom of my screen. You can't, let me, unhide this for a second. Okay. So cut this out for now. Uh, let's go ahead and save this. So what you're going to do is go down to the bottom under user settings. And if you go to advanced, I already have it checked on, but you need to make sure developer mode is on. So make sure this is on. And then what you do is whatever, whoever your player is, like if it's me, I'm going to right click, go down to copy ID. And once you copy the ID, that is what you're gonna, basically you're gonna come in here and you're gonna paste it right here. So that, if you have four different sources, you're gonna have to do this and set up separate browsers for each one. So then what you need to do is find your images. So you're gonna have one image and this one is when it's dark, when that player is not speaking. So I'll, I'll, I'll show you how to do this. And then I put my brightness to 75%. So when they're not speaking, it's at 75. So the only things you're gonna to need to do is change this image, change this 75% to whatever you want it to be. 
And then I do the brightness at a hundred percent for the second image, everything else you don't have to touch. So how do we get these images? So in discord for me, so it's important that, you know, I just copied and paste mine in, in discord so I can have them here. Then you click on it, make sure you get it to where it's sized like this, then right click it. And then you're going to copy the link. Okay. So if I go back here, I'm going to open to a new notepad real quick. So I'm going to show you. So if I paste this now, you see how it says media discord app. That's what you want. You do not want it to say CDN. So it's important that you, um, that you click into the image bef uh, before, like if I just did it right here as it is, right click it and copy the link. And if I go back to my notepad again and paste it, then you see that CDN, it won't show up right. Um, I think it's missized and just doesn't, doesn't work. So that's why I have these two. This one you want, media.discord. This one you don't, CDN. So once you have, again, your two images, so in my case, this is non-speaking, this is speaking. So what you'll do is in this code, you're basically, what I'll do is I'll copy all of it and we'll open up the browser source again. So let's open up the test image properties. So I'll pull this over. So right now it's just showing this Gwydion. So if I scroll down now and I type into this custom CSS, I copy and paste. So now again, what you would do is in here, you would change this code with the ID of whichever player this is. You'll come in right here and you'll copy and paste the link that we just showed you. So this one will be non-speaking link. And again, if you want to change the prices, brightness, change it to 60, change it to 80, whatever you want. Then keep scrolling down. This will be your second image. So then again, you're just going to basically paste the image you want here. Click OK. And now you won't be able to see it. Let's see if I can. Now I'll open it. So now this is what the image looks like. So when I hit shift and I talk, you see how it lights up. So again, you can test it right here. And if you want to change um, how it looks, you can change it. So that's it. Pretty simple. Um, yeah, hopefully that uh, helps you and helps out your stream. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to hit me up on discord. Shout out to, I think it was Jin, J I N H who um, actually posted a video on YouTube where I found this code at, for some reason they, they pulled their site down and so I, I don't really know how to find them anymore but anyway hope it helps you and hope to see you all around on the fantasy grounds forums thanks